Hey, what's up, broskies? It's Soda. Welcome back to my channel. Hello? The way you drew Instagram in your social media's video is completely inappropriate. I will be contacting the FBI. I will be sending a SWAT team to your house, and I will make sure your YouTube channel gets terminated! In today's video, we are doing Social Medias as Humans Part 2. Um, I, I did the first one like two months ago, but I kind of forgot that I was supposed to make a part two, but I'm doing it now, so it doesn't matter. If you want to go check out the first one, which you totally should, it'll be down in the description. As always, be sure to like and subscribe, and with that out of the way, let's get the drawing. So first up, we are going to be drawing Twitter as a human. Now, I know Twitter doesn't exactly have the best reputation, and I completely see why. Twitter's a website where you can make short posts and stuff, sharing your thoughts, uh, sharing your opinions, which you will most likely get attacked for. There's also, like, news and stuff on there as well. There's like trending hashtags all the time, like random stuff happening. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely, you know, good parts about Twitter as well. Just like everything else, there's always bad apples of the bunch and good apples of the bunch. One thing that I like to use Twitter for is I like to follow artists and whenever I scroll through my feed, I just see a bunch of nice artwork and you know, I like that kind of stuff. I've made some friends on Twitter. There's definitely nice communities on there. I also consider it to be a pretty good place to, you know, connect with other creators. But unfortunately, at least in my experience, there's definitely way more cons than pros. A lot of people that just cannot take other people's opinions. People can be very quick to judge and attack others. You know, it's like I'll be just scrolling on my feed looking at some nice art then the next thing that I see is a giant Twitter argument in a random thread. So you know, it, it's just crazy, okay? Like I try to avoid Twitter nowadays. I used to use it a lot but I try to only go on it every few days for like less than a minute. I actually went as far as to keep light mode on so that I'm only on Twitter for a short period of time and it works because now my eyes burn twice the amount. So since Twitter is viewed in such a negative light, as it should be, I decided that's what I would revolve my character around. So the human version of Twitter is basically gonna be, you know, this very toxic and angry character. They're just a very petty and miserable person. I mean, I'm essentially just drawing the typical Twitter social justice warrior. I mean, come on, did you really think that I was gonna draw Twitter as this nice character? Hell no. We making this character spicy. Right here is the Twitter icon. It's literally just a blue bird. So for this character's hairstyle, I made their hair very feathery like, you know, like a bird's wings. I honestly was very satisfied with how the hairstyle turned out. It's like slicked back and curly and it just looks really cool. And as for her face, she is very angry. As you can see from her pose, she has her phone out because she's just always scrolling through Twitter trying to find people to attack. And as for her other hand, the reason she is pointing like that is because uh, she's actually like pointing at someone and telling them that they're cancelled. Or you know, she's saying something like look at or I'm gonna cancel you next because that's what Twitter users are best at. I gave her this very baggy white shirt that is tucked into a jean skirt that she's wearing and under that jean skirt she is also wearing a, like a pair of like short leggings or something I'm not sure what to call that and on one of the sleeves of her shirt I also put a hashtag because you know there's always trending hashtags on Twitter. I gave her some navy blue shoes and white ankle socks and then over her shoulder I actually gave her this bag and in that bag is papers but it's it's actually screenshots that she has been taking of people saying like controversial things and stuff in hopes to eventually like cancel them in the future. Like she would use that evidence against them. Cause like there's literally people on Twitter that take screenshots of like everything that they see because they always want to be prepared to cancel someone. So that's exactly what her bag is full of. And then I gave her a pair of glasses as well as some piercings on her face because I don't know, I just think that really fits a Twitter user. So yeah, our drawing of Twitter is complete. Oh my. God. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever drawn such a toxic character before, honestly. It was really fun to do though. I really like this design. I love the hair that I gave her. Please let me know what you guys think of her in the comments because even though I hate Twitter, I gotta admit this design is pretty nice. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention I gave her red eyes because Twitter users are the spawn of Satan. Okay, oh, <laughs> this next one is really crazy compared to the rest in this video. Just letting you guys know this one's gonna be a bit strange. So the second social media that we're turning into a human is TikTok. Now, even though Twitter and TikTok I consider to be very different, they both have one thing in common. They both always have something crazy happening. So TikTok, also known pastily as 
as musically is pretty widely known for like those videos where there's a kid lip syncing to a song for like a few seconds but in the more recent years a lot of other content has been produced on TikTok like um, challenge videos meme videos like literally any short random video like there's basically anything on there but you'll see a lot of people like dressing up as an anime character and dancing to a song but then you'll also see a lot of trendy you know challenge videos and not all of these challenges are bad there's I'm sure there's like some harmless ones but there's a lot of really cringy sometimes even dangerous challenges that people do on TikTok there's honestly been so much stupid like trends and stuff that people have done on TikTok that have ended up on the news because of how bad they are one of the more lighthearted challenge was called the cereal challenge where you basically pour cereal into like your friend's mouth and then you would take a spoon and eat it from their mouth which is disgusting the person's laying down so they could also choke but you know that's one of the more lighthearted ones there's a challenge where you literally trip someone and make them slam their head on the ground there's also a really cringy challenge where people for some reason file down their teeth oh my god Ugh. I like even the thought of that just makes my soul leave my body there's honestly challenges that are so bad that I don't even want to mention in this video but by far one of the most messed up challenges if not the most messed up one is the fire challenge where you set yourself on fire that's literally it when I was doing research on TikTok challenges and I found this out I I just can't why why do people do this I simply do not have the words to describe how stupid that is people literally set themselves on fire for a TikTok challenge like come on I wouldn't have even done that when I was a five-year-old I guess common sense just doesn't exist anymore. Definitely not saying that all of TikTok is bad. Obviously there's stupid stuff but I've seen a lot of pretty cool videos here and there. It's just there's so many stupid trends that happen on TikTok and there's so many like impressionable kids and it just worries me. So unlike the other characters that I made in this video, the character that I made for this one is a little bit different because I usually try to base the color palette and stuff on the logo but this one is a lot more focused on the concept and the user base of TikTok in general. A popular thing that I've seen on TikTok is actually boys wearing cat maid outfits so that's what I made this character wearing because I saw that a lot so I was like heck you know why not man I wish my boyfriend would wear a maid outfit for me since I couldn't get over how bizarre it was I made this character doing the fire challenge uh, I was gonna end up making them do some other challenge but this one takes the cake bro it doesn't get crazier than this or at least I hope it doesn't Jesus so yeah he literally just has this crazy look on his face he's filming himself setting himself on fire in a cat maid outfit I think I think this is the best thing ever. N no, I'm not saying that I think the fire challenge is cool. I, I think it's really bad and stupid. Don't do that, obviously. But I basically just wanted this character to represent how crazy people can get for TikTok views. How far they are willing to go for a TikTok video is actually crazy to me. So yeah, I honestly have nothing more to say about this character. Uh, yeah, here you go. This is TikTok, boys. All right, so last but not least, we are doing Reddit. Now, a lot of people have a not very good opinion on Reddit users. A lot of people meme them. A lot of people consider Reddit to be full of edgelords and, you know, I can't completely deny that because I'm sure there is but honestly me personally I actually like reddit I think it's a really cool place uh, I think it's a great way to communicate with people and learn people's opinions in a much more civil way than Twitter speaking of reddit I actually have my own reddit that you can join link in the description on reddit you can join communities or create them either one you want to do and honestly there is so so many communities that you can join and what I really like about reddit is that unlike a lot of other social media platforms that I have used you're better able to control like what communities you're surrounded by because you know Twitter for example it's kind of hard not to see a bunch of random posts that you literally don't care about but meanwhile on reddit if you join a community you're mainly just gonna see posts from there and stuff you can also join several communities it doesn't just have to be one so you have a lot of options you can see other people's posts on those communities or you can even make your own posts which will usually be approved by a moderator but it's honestly super super cool there's definitely a lot of really cool stuff about reddit but as with every single social media there's always a stereotype for the user base. So basically the stereotype is that a lot of reddit users think they have infinite IQ. There's been like a lot of instances where I see like super super long posts of people just rambling on about something and trying to sound as cool and smart as possible. Saying things in like the most complex way using big words. I'm definitely not saying that every reddit user is like that because a lot of people that use reddit just want to look at memes and stuff and they're just chill people but I've definitely seen 
seen a lot of instances where people just tell their life story and sometimes kind of just make themselves look like a joke. So I'm basing my character off of that stereotype. This character is just going to be very, you know, overly confident. They think pretty highly of themselves. This right here is the Reddit logo. It's a alien thing, I guess. Reddit has upvotes and downvotes that are basically just likes and dislikes. And I guess the more upvotes you have, the cooler you are. I don't know. And the colors of those are orange and blue. So that's what I stuck with for the color palette. I gave the dude some messy bright orange hair and then I put the little antenna thing as like an ahoge. Is that what you call that little anime hair that sticks up through the roots? I don't know, but I wanted to include that antenna thing in some way. Another little alien also has like circles on the sides of its head. So I put these circular type poofs of hair on each side to include that as well. Not sure if it's noticeable, but I tried. I gave him a pair of glasses because, you know, glasses automatically make you smarter. I gave him this kind of smug look on his face. You know, he's smirking, kind of just looking down on everyone because he thinks he's superior to them. I gave him a white t-shirt that says r slash because that's what every subreddit starts with. And then over that t-shirt, I gave him this romper type jacket. One sleeve has blue arrows and one sleeve has orange arrows. Again, because they're upvotes and downvotes. And then I gave him these split color jeans, one side orange and one side blue that reached down to his calves. From there, I kind of just gave him some white socks and then I gave him some shoes, but each shoe also has an upvote and a downvote. Well, I guess one thing that I forgot to keep in mind is that the blue arrow goes down and I kind of made them both going up, but hey, it still looks cool. He's pushing up his glasses with his two fingers like an anime character. And then in his other hand, he's holding this thing called karma, which is a thing on Reddit that makes you cool or something. It's when you get a lot of likes, aka upvotes on your comments and posts and stuff. I don't really feel like explaining the whole thing, so here you go, just read this if you want to. And lastly, I gave him a neck beard because, well, he uses Reddit, that's why. And there we have it, our human version of Reddit is done. This was actually a bit challenging for me. It took me quite a while to come up with a design for this one, but I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. It definitely looks like some kind of anime character OC, but regardless, I think the design is pretty fitting. All right, so there you have it, broskies. Again, I drew three social medias as humans. I had so much fun doing this video as always. I love doing these kind of videos. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the comments. My favorite that I drew is Twitter just because I love her hairstyle. Let me know your favorite that I drew in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. And who knows, if you guys really end up liking this video, then I might do a part three. But if I do, please leave social medias for me to draw next in the comments because I'm kind of clueless right now. And with that, thank you broski so much for watching. And with that, I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!